Păi multe de pe băgați în buche. La băgăță, ce urmă mai mai zic, în băgăță cu mai mult, că-i zice, e mele copre. De pe bine avem băgăță cu ce nu. Uh, 
his theory that is from day to the time when he, uh, what, uh, a person dies. So, in his stage, uh, Edison is coming up with the AD white uh, stages. For example, through the code, the period between the age ages of six, uh, six to puberty, the latency uh, period. Uh, because he believed not much, uh, uh, he be, because he believed not much psychologically was the going on. However, this is a period when children are starting to go to school, that is, six to uh, puberty. That's the school going age. Um, they are learning to work and to gain satisfaction from success and from the accomplishments. That's at the age of six to eleven. Uh, once again, uh, they are learning that the children uh, to work and to gain satisfaction from success and from the accomplishment. Uh, think about um, children in the very books, uh, from six to the eleven years. Uh, actually, when they, for example, when they are playing football over there, uh, they become, you know, one particular uh, child, for example, that has steps to the door, he becomes so happy and Because he has called it a goal, you may see him going to his father or mommy say, Yeah, so it's at this particular edge uh, whereby one gain satisfaction from success and from the accomplishment. He's successful. When he's afraid, then it's a news. Yeah, it's an issue. You see him going to uh, the parents, the guardians, the leaders. Uncle, I've done this. Yeah, in the class, you know, uh, they ask me a question that's answered. And uh, yeah, I got, you know, uh, yeah, I came with the right answer. Yeah, so, you see, at this sort of age, uh, they are, they are um, learning to be sociable at this age, between 6 and 11. Because puberty normally starts with the age of 7, puberty starts at 8, 19, 11, that's the age. Alright, so at this particular age, Children learn to be sociable, uh, to share and to cooperate with the peers. And they are learning about social structures, uh, such as the fact that teachers are in charge and uh, represent authorities. Excellent. Now this is the age, this is the age, argued that much deformment occurred during the years that uh, through the uh, thought were acquired. Uh, once again, uh, Edison argued that much deformment, ends of the children, right, occurred or occurred during the years that through the thought were acquired. Were acquired. Indeed, Edison believes that the development of personality left the world into adulthood and even old age. That seems to be that when someone has started growing, you 
let it stop growing or deforming. I mean, I want to do what I want to do it. That's why it was prepared to uh, deform what? No. Mm-hmm. So what? Yeah, so it's a risk that, you know, uh, an MD keeps on the property. That's why he was compelled to actually uh, develop his uh, theory up to the old age of the person. Mm-hmm. And keep on growing and developing from the day you are born up to the day when you, you die. Learning to be autonomous from there. 
I'll do my best to become independent. Right? Even though we get too much, that's independent. Uh, learning from them how to trust our parents. Learning to be autonomous and from them, learning from, the, from them how to act as an adult. He called this psychosocial conflict rather than the psychosexual conflict that formed through this mental states. So these two, they are also deeply different because one is uh, related both to psychosex states and some are related to uh, social. Some are recording this theory, psychosexual theory, some are recording this uh, what it is as well, the world social theory. Uh, Although Exxon disagreed with Freud on these two issues of drumming, he did not agree with Freud on several other points. First, like Freud, Exxon kept um, a steady model of development in private. People go through the stages in a certain order. And that there is a specific issue that characterizes each stage. A second, Edison believed that each stage presented a conflict or perhaps a fundamental crisis which needed to be solved. Today, Edison retained the notion of civilization, meaning that the crisis was not successfully and adaptively resolved. The personality um, development could become uh, listed, and the person will continue to be preoccupied by that crisis in forming. Uh, so, can I go through this and the title of the sun? This is the passage only.
meaning that if the crisis was not successfully and adaptively resolved, then personality and development could become uh, arrested and the person would continue to be preoccupied by the crisis in the environment. So, it is the belief of Erickson that crisis at each, uh, at each stage needs to be resolved. If the, that will not be uh, resolved, then the development becomes arrested. That to say, you, you cannot uh, you stop it to in yeah. uh, some other what uh, maybe a domains because when you develop you talk development you talk of uh, development in all aspects of life. Yeah, so this quest uh makes one to I say not continue uh, to develop some other edge. And at the same time he say um, okay, if the crisis was not successfully and the adaptive result, the personality development could become arrested. Yeah, so uh, basically, the achievements one can actually show make or makes the life it is just an indication. That uh, uh, what is required to be done at this stage has really taken place. Uh, for example, we talk about a child playing uh, in the ground, uh, on the ground, and then the, uh, scoring, scoring a goal. You see him, he says, try. An achievement of spreading the word. We try to protect the news, telling the truth. So let's say he has used some skills which are very difficult. Yeah, it would be even more accept. The skills, the scientists, the abilities, and um, because of that, we see him achieving and then become one. If that crisis is not solved, all these achievements cannot be there. Uh, for example, if a, a child with a chance child of to go and pray, uh, maybe uh, with or in the mind or whatever, then they would not the chance. Then we then 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 we chance to actually showcase the skills he has. So he will achieve at a very very best. But the application uh, which will come up goes into what uh, denying whatever we are child what a chance uh, to showcase his or her skills. And the, this is the first stage, as we discussed last time, that is trust versus the miswife. <coughs> when children are born, they are completely dependent on those allowed by them. When children are born, they are dependent on their kids. They are dependent on the, uh, the mother. Uh, I think they doing those who are taking care of them. Uh, he or she might be a man and he, uh, or wife. Some siblings, they are taking care of the child. So, when he's born, for everything and in everything, really, you see him or her as a child sitting on the wife, uh, the wife taking care of him. When it, when it comes to the issue of eating, uh, really a child depends on the parents because the parents cannot take initiative to pay the babies. The baby who starts cannot grow. 
So, whatever happens with the baby, all depends on the depends on what the caregivers or parents, or those who are there to take care of it. So, they are. Their first question could be, would be, would you most likely be, who is going to take care of me? And who will, and will they do a good job? Can I trust that they will feed me when I am hungry, clothe me when I am cold? Comfort me when I cry and generally take care of me. If children are well taken care of, if their best needs are met, then they will develop a sense of trust in their caregivers. This sense of trust, according to Eric Dixon, forms the best of future in their caregivers. This sense of trust, according to Eric Edison, forms the basis of future in their caregivers. Um, this with the child children growing up, uh, believing that other people uh, are approachable, trustable, and generally good and lovely. However, some infants are not well uh, taken care of for various reasons and they never receive the love and care they need. Um, they need such infants may perform a certain that others are not to be trusted and may perform uh, a lifelong pattern of mistrust in others, speech, sadness, and the feeling of uh, estrangement, isolation, or just plain social discomfort when allowing others. This is like the way Exodus tries to explain.
when the parents tell them to walk. Screaming when the parents tell them to be quiet. Generally, uh, just testing their what? Powers. They are trying to answer the question, how much of the world do I control? A good outcome is to, to um, what? Is to answer the question, how much of the world do I control? A good outcome is to answer the question, how much do I control? A good outcome is when a child feels a sense of control and mastery over things and develops confidence and a sense of autonomy that lets them explore and learn. That's a point to know. Um, a good outcome is the way it has filled a sense of control and that's that they overthink. Alright? Um, in a playgroup, there are some other kids who come messages and you see them try to control everything. Alright? 